So, do you recognize any of these men? No, I don't. I didn't see their faces, but I know they were singing that one song. The "All I Want for Christmas Is You." All right, Carrie, I'm familiar. Number one, seeing the opening to "All I Want for Christmas Is You" by Mariah Carey. Really? Okay. I don't want a lot for Christmas. Number two, <laughs> keep it going. Keep it going. There is just one thing I need. And I. I don't care about the present. Number four. Underneath the Christmas tree. I just want you for my own. More than you could ever know. Make my wish come true. Baby, all I want for Christmas is you. She pointed at me. Chills. Literal chills. Wow, it's great. It's number five. Number five was the one that stole my show. Oh, I totally forgot about that part. Uh, well, see about that. <laughs> what are you doing? Did Go you after leave? her! Hey, could I, like, uh, leave now? Oh my gosh. What's up, Jackets? Today is December 18th, AKA a week until Christmas. As you can tell, I'm kind of excited. Anyways, I have worked long and hard to compile an amazing show for you today that will rock your antlers off. Literally. Anyways, I'm Kirsten and this is... Wait, did you hear that? They found me? Already? Oh no, I'll be back. Okay, she's been here and she's taking the show with her, all right? We have to find her. If anyone sees her, we capture her but don't let anything happen in the show. Why are you guys still standing here? Go find her. I think I lost them. So where was I? Oh, since the show has taken a rocky start, I think who better to hand it over to than Logan and his gang of memers. So may I present to you a very Merry Christmas edition of Meme of the Week. Hey Jackets, I'm your host Logan. And I'm your co-host Fernando. And welcome to the seventh edition of Meme of the Week, which also happens to be a Christmas special. Yeah, yeah that's pretty good, huh? 2018 is coming to an end, so what better way to end the year than with a top 10 review of the best memes of the year? But first, Jackets. Yeah. Wanna Sprite Cranberry? Number 10. Number 15. Burger King Foot Lettuce. The last thing you'd want in your meme review is Burger King foot lettuce. But it turns out that might be what you get. Number 9. Somebody touch my spaghetti. This meme originated from an Italian Goylocks and the Three Bears cartoon. Somebody touch my spaghetti! Number 8. Sprite Cranberry. This meme originated from a Sprite Christmas commercial starring LeBron James. Want a Sprite Cranberry? Number 7. Johnny Johnny Yes Papa. You already know the story behind this. Number 6. Despacito 2. The popular song from 2017 sparked several memes and fake news headlines mocking a sequel. Number 5. Meme of the Week is the worst. Change my mind. Well, that's going to be it, guys. See, See you next, next year. I don't know how, but those memes keep getting cringier and cringier. So, uh, it looks like next thing on my schedule is... Uh, don't you mean my schedule? Um, no, I'm pretty sure I made it. Look, here's the milk that I was drinking whenever I wrote this. Kirsten Harder, you are under arrest. With one hand cut. Anything you say or do can be used Well, see, you, you know, I kind of have a show to anchor, so... Bye! I think I lost them. So Jackets, listen up. NHS tutoring is every Monday and Wednesday in Mr. Claybo's classroom from 2 to 3. Great recovery for the first nine weeks is now available. Mondays and Wednesdays from 2.15 to 3.15 in room 5-003. Listen up, I don't have much time. 
ESOL Tutoring is with Ms. Vanderpool from 2.15 to 3.15 on Mondays and Wednesdays. The next ACT is on February 9th and the registration deadline is January 11th. The next SAT is March 9th and the registration deadline is February 8th. Man, I did not prepare enough packages for this. Do you have anything we could use? <laughs> Look who's unprepared now. Oh, shut up. Do you have anything or not? As a matter of fact, I do. Corey and Owen recently interviewed the Criminal Justice Academy. You are the girl. Play the clip. What's up, Jackets? It's Owen and Corey here, bringing you information about the lovely academies here at Barto. Which one are we covering today? Uh, today we're going to be covering the Criminal Justice Academy. This year I'm teaching Criminal Justice Level 1, and at the Level 1 level, we do take a lot of notes. Um, so a broad spectrum background of the criminal justice system. Good morning. I'm Mr. Craven, uh, head lead instructor for the Criminal Justice Academy here at Bartow High School. Uh, the program is about six years old right now, uh, in our sixth year. Uh, it has grown from 65 students uh, up to, upwards to about 300 at, at present. The Criminal Justice Academy is a four-year program. The first year they talk about the career and the basic criminal law. The second year they talk about law enforcement and physical aspects of um, handcuffing, defensive tech, and also they use the obstacle course. The third year they talk about investigations and crime scenes, the correctional system, and they do more stuff with the defensive techniques and physical training. The fourth year they put everything together. They do private security and they also patrol the school, mainly the parking lot. What made me want to join was basically um, I have a great passion for law enforcement. Um, I want to build and clean the community as much as I can. And that's going to wrap it up for the Criminal Justice Academy today. I'm Owen, and that's Corey, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and we're going back to the anchors. Well, I think that made my show complete. Uh, don't you mean my show? Let's just say our show. You know what? I like that. Me too. Am I not arresting anybody? Nah, she's okay. Man. Hey guys, I think we should end the show. Oh, that's right. I'm Haley, and this is Anthony. And I'm Kirsten, and I hope you enjoyed this wild holiday edition of YJP, YJP News. Hey.